everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, bringing you another cool, awesome episode of x Lights Insights. Today's special edition brings us artificial intelligence. As if we haven't had enough artificial intelligence crammed down our throat over the last year or so, um, <clears throat> it's going to continue. So you can embrace it, or you can be left behind. It's up to you. You know I have videos on this from everything from using it to creating timings, using Moises, which was originally found by John Storm. So I absolutely 100% admit I stole that idea from him. John, your check's in the mail. Also, I've done tutorials on how to use AI using ChatGPT uh, to create colors. Uh, based on prompters, based on songs, whatever you might want to give it information-wise. But guess what? x just says, you know what? We want some of that action. So they've been working on this for a while. And I think originally the idea was to kind of get it to do things with um, mapping. And I, I don't know that that's going to work. Maybe it will. We'll see. But x has incorporated Apple Intelligence, uh, Olama, Oyawa, Oyama, or Yo Mama. One of those, it's an engine. It's a free uh, AI engine, from what I understand, that Scott uh, had put in there. And then, of course, ChatGPT. So uh, I think if you have an account, you can tie it to X Lights. I remember trying to do this the first time this thing popped out. I'm like, ooh, ChatGPT, what is this? Oh, what can I do? I'll start. And I absolutely killed X Lights so bad I had to uh, message Dan, hey, man, how do I fix this? I had to go into code and fix it. I said, I'll never test that again. But now I'm not afraid to do uh, such things. So let's show you how AI works natively with x Lights in the application. This is really cool. I think you'll like this. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your preferences. Now, you may not see this until 2025.9 comes out. I am rocking 2025.8. whatever test flight gives me all throughout the week. Uh, daily releases might come out with things they fix, misspellings, this, that, or the other. And because I'm on a Mac, I get test flight releases. And today is a special day because the Mac OS went to dot or went to 26 OS 26 Tahoe. Tahoe is in the house. So because of that, I can use its Apple intelligence along with X lights and tie the two together. And it sort of just does this for you, which is nice. And I'll show you. So what you're going to want to do is go to your preferences, go to your services, and you're going to see here. Apple intelligence, and I've already selected it. And then I'll click on this uh, test button if I want. Oop, I, I've already done that. Let me see what's gonna happen here. Apple intelligence, that's the one, test. And then it's gonna say success, service, Apple intelligence is valid. And I believe on the Windows side, I don't know if Olama works on the Mac and Windows. I'm, I I don't know much about Olama. I just know it's sort of a open source. AI thing. And then, of course, there's good old chat GPT. When you enable that, uh, there are uh, information components you may need to put in to get that working. And I don't really want to mess with that because after what I've seen with Apple Intelligence, uh, I think it's good enough. Or I can just use chat GPT. It doesn't matter. Okay. So I've tested that. That's done. Once that test pass, no matter which of the three that you're going to use, uh, we're going to see a new option right here in the triple lines that some of you have complained about. I love this. Y'all stop complaining about this. This is a good enhancement. Uh, you click here and you're going to see import palette, which we know we could do, but there's a brand new one called generate palette. Check this out. I'm going to click on generate palette. Whoa. AI is in the house. It's in the ecosystem of x Slice natively, and that is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. Not only is it here for us to use and abuse, it takes the song. Remember, maybe you don't remember, but make sure you open up x Lights, put your song in that you're going to work on. Then when you come here to generate a palette, it'll already have the song. So you can go freeform, and you can tell it all sorts of prompters. And it'll do it based on that. Because if you don't like the results, you may have to use prompters. But I'm going to tell this to generate. Boop, boop, boop. And there it goes. Oh, boy. Oh, the beach ball. Oh, okay. Whew. It would have been a really bad video if this didn't work, right? 
Here we go. Description. The color palette captures the dynamic and transformative energy of the song, Burning Down the House by Paramore, emphasizing vibrant emotions and imagery without leaning into dark tones. And I think every time you hit generate, it might put new information there because uh, the last one I had was different. I'm going to click generate again and let's see what it does. I don't know if it'll do anything. Let's see. Energy, burning out, paramount, vibrant hues, it convey intensity, passion, and a sense of empowerment. I thought for a second it said sense of employment. I was getting nervous. And so it changes it. Or you could say, from burning down the house, create a festive palette that ties in empowerment and Chris Christmas themes. I don't know. I'm just making this up, folks. Just making this up. And generate. Hmm. Beach ball, beach ball, what will you give me? Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of information. The festive color palette of burning down the house by Paramore embodies empowerment and Christmas themes through a mix of both vibrant and uplifting hues. I've always liked the term uplifting hues. Each color is designed to reflect energy, transformation, and celebration, creating lively and empowering visual experience. If you're happy with these colors and it gives you the colors, you can see pearl white, sunset orange, crimson pink, magenta, golden yellow, hmm, sky blue, emerald green, and radiant red. And being partially colorblind, I would say I like all of these. And so I'm going to click now on OK. Click OK. There's your color palette. Boom. Now, now, what you may want to do here is probably click save palette color as, and we could call this burning. Well, we'll just call this burning. There you go. Or you could go burning v, V1 or burning part one or burning A, whatever you want to call it, and click OK. This way you'll have this palette forever because maybe you want to go back and get a different palette or maybe you want more than eight colors. Why well, limit yourself, right? All right. So I thought this was super, super cool. This is coming to a release near you very 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 soon so get out there and make your colors better than they can be get creative folks this is ron extreme sequences this has been x lights insights we'll see you again real soon take care